Hello, it's Mr Lee and uh, it's nice to see you today. Today I'm thinking about going on a journey and I'm wondering what sort of things I need. I think I need a coat. Yes, it's quite cold outside. Yes, of course we need a coat. Um, what about my head? Well, actually, I'm a bit thin on top, so I think I'm going to need a hat. Do you think that would be a good idea? Yes, I think that would be a very good idea. Uh, what about something on my feet? Do you think these will be any good? No, it's very muddy out there. I think I'm going to need some proper walking shoes, walking boots. So I'll bring them with me. Now, what else have we got here? Uh, one of these? Um, no, probably. Do you think I need that? No, I don't think I do. Uh, so how about some gloves? That would be a very good idea, wouldn't it? Ah, what about a torch? No, probably don't need that. I'm just okay. What about, oh look, we can play with a Lego while we're out. No, perhaps we don't need any Lego. Okay, I think I will need a rucksack. And I've got, in the rucksack, I've got a spare map, just in case. I've got a water bottle, in case I get thirsty. And I've also got an emergency chocolate bar. So that will be handy. So, I think we're ready to go. Let's... Well, I'm all ready for my journey. I'm going to, I'm standing here at Mount Nessing Windmill and I'm going to go on a walk to St Giles Church, Mount Nessing. So, here we go. That's going to take about a mile. So I'm looking forward to my walk. See you soon. Well, I'm, uh, I'm walking down Church Road uh, out towards uh, St Giles and uh, I'm beginning to look for a footpath. I can't see one. I'll have to persevere. Well, there it is. I can see it just behind me. Silly me. Well, I better just turn off and go down that route. Where does it go? Mmm, just seems to go across the fields. Okay, well, let's go. Well, I'm walking down the path now and it's a little bit difficult to follow. Sometimes we have to persevere when we can't really see the way ahead. I think the path looks like it's going a bit to the right. And then it's going to follow that line of trees. Well, let's see. It's the route I have been following. And uh, it goes along a little stream there. That's really nice. And it's now just come to a point where I've got to walk over a little bridge. Well, that's fine. I can see the tracks going straight ahead. Sometimes we can't really see the way ahead of us. Jesus said to his followers, when you feel lost and alone, you can pray. You can talk to God, call him our Father and he taught them a prayer that began our Father in heaven hallowed be your name your name everything about you is special you look after us in every way we could possibly imagine and we can pray to God and he'll help us well I'm going to go over the bridge now and across the field oh well I stopped for a little rest because I've getting a bit tired but I can see the way ahead of me and I can persevere and carry on. We need to persevere when things get difficult, when the way ahead is muddy and we feel tired. But I've got to the end of that field so that at last smooth road, a nice smooth road to walk on. But you know something, the way ahead doesn't look so good. That's a really, really muddy route. Sometimes things can get, seem really difficult ahead of us, but we have to persevere if we're going to do anything worthwhile in life. Jesus said to his followers, his friends, when you pray, say, Father, may your kingdom come, your will be done, which means his kingdom is invisible, world everything that god wants for the world may be may it come soon and may your will everything you want for the world be done so that this world is fair so that it's done in god's way the right way for all of us well i think i'm slowly getting there st giles church is now around about half a mile away and it seems actually it still seems a long way off but jesus said to his friends he said sometimes God is a long way off when things get in the way we call that 
sin, when we are naughty, when we do things that God doesn't like. Jesus said to his friends, when you pray, say, forgive us our sins as we forgive others. As we try and forgive other people so that we can be friends again, we can be together, be right with God. So I'm going to carry on my way, I'm going to persevere. Whew, that was hard work. Well, I finally got across this very muddy field. There's another one ahead of me that you can see, but there's a bridge over a little stream here and the sound of a little waterfall. Water is something the whole world needs. We, have, we can bring our needs to God in prayer. Jesus said, when you pray, say, give us each day our daily bread, which means actually all the things we need, whatever we need in every circumstance. Do we need help in persevering? Do we need actual things? Ask God in prayer and he will help us. Not magically, but he will help us to persevere. I can see the road ahead of me, so I'm going to go on now in that nice, across a rather muddy field and see what lies ahead. Nearly on the final stretch, and there's St Giles Church, just a little bit ahead, nice straight road. And Jesus said to his friends, when you pray, say, God, Lead us not into temptation. Don't lead us in the wrong way. God never does. But we're just remembering that he leads, leads us in the right way. But deliver us from evil. God protects us from bad things. We need to pray to him to help us cope with life, to help us persevere. And ending with, for yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Remembering that it's God's world, all of this world is God's world and we can pray and ask God that his will is done. Prayer, like the Lord's Prayer, prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I've been praying that, and you can too, to help you to persevere in life, in school, and in everything we do. Thank you for joining me on this walk. It's been really good, and uh, keep persevering. Bye.